There are more than 6.5 billion people living in the world today, and there are way too many cultures to count. Over hundreds and thousands of years, people have lived in groups and created their own ways of living life. Today, there are so many mixed cultures that it's almost impossible to find one pure group of people. Our cultures significantly impact who we are and far most who we will become. I'd like to reach out to everyone today and emphasize the importance of embracing your culture. A little bit of my background, I was born in uh, Houston, Texas, but I've uh, lived the majority of my life in Arlington, Texas. My parents, however, were born in Tehran, which is the uh, capital of Iran. I was raised in a home with rich Persian culture. For my friends who have been to my house, they know exactly what that means. But for those of you who don't, let's go on a little tour. First things first, tea. You might have thought the British loved their tea, but believe me, you have no idea. Wake up in the morning, drink some tea. Have a casual gathering, pour some tea. Have a Persian party, you might want to bring in a whole truckload. Point is, tea is the perfect drink for any occasion in a Persian home. Which brings me to my next point. You heard me say Persian party, right? Yep. If you haven't been to a Persian party, you will never truly understand the definition of having noodles for legs. Pers Persians love dancing, surprisingly, way more than they love their tea. My advice for you guys, if any of you become a best friends with a Persian in the future and you're invited to a party, if you're not in the mood to dance, you might want to get out of the room. That person will find you and will track you down, and when they do find you, they'll push you to dance until you get a headache. And if you think they'll stop there, you're completely wrong. They'll start some kind of chant that translates to something like, you must dance, and when the entire party's into it, you know you're done for. Iranians live for the celebrations and the parties. It's so hot-wired into our blood that I guarantee you, if you go out into the public and start clapping or making a beat, a Middle Eastern will get up and start dancing. I unfortunately am in the 10% that was not gifted with dancing, so it won't work on me. Those were only a few points of the many aspects of my Persian culture, but I wasn't always so open about it. Growing up in a school called Butler Elementary, I developed a fear for being too weird or too different because all I wanted to do was lead a normal life. I had already began with a huge disadvantage with my name, and believe me, for the longest time I didn't even know how to spell or pronounce it. It was rough, and uh, because of this, I tried to push away from where my blood was from. I even tried to trick people by saying that I'm Persian. And yes, this is actually a valid argument, because Persia and Iran aren't the same thing. Persia was an empire that existed long in the past, and from many raids, raids from uh, Arab countries, it was minimized into the smaller country today as, known as Iran. The name wasn't changed until 1935. You're probably wondering how I could dodge a cultural problem by simply saying that I'm Persian instead of saying that I'm Iranian. Well, there were two ways that I would do this when I was younger. One would be uh, including the hit action movie a while ago called Prince of Persia, if any of you have seen it. If I uh, got into a conversation with somebody who had seen it and I'd say that I was Persian, they would probably respond with something like, oh, so your ancestors were like ninjas or something. And of course, I'd say yes. The other way would just be catching somebody who wasn't as geographically inclined and just taking my word for it that Persia was a real country today. The constant dodging of my nationality became a normal thing in my childhood. I would always look at other kids and wonder why I couldn't have their normal American lives with their normal American names. But I was naive and I didn't see the bigger picture. Our cultures make us different and that's nothing anybody should be ashamed of. My transition from middle school into high school was when I became better friends with Zayda Lassi and Amar Shah, and their friendships had widened my view of my ignorance from my, towards my own blood. I realized, uh, I noticed that they both embraced their cultures with open arms and were not afraid to show it. It was then that I realized the beauty and the importance, because the things that make us different can also bring us together. Cultures are what keep the world colorful. And without it, it would truly be a mundane experience. The difference is what makes the world beautiful. Thank you.